Race Facts It's the penultimate round of the 2019 Formula 2 World Championship, the Grand Prix of Portugal in Ribadouro. Pole setter Rashid Al Kemzi has a comfortable lead in the championship, 30 points ahead of second Ferdinand Sandbergen. That means already here in Portugal Al Kemzi could win the 2019 title. Much tighter will be the decision for second and third in the championship. Only five points difference between second and fifth in the overall standings means for Sandbergen, Benevente, Pettersen, Hagen and Segenmark a championship medal is in sight. Have a look at the race course in Portugal with a length of 1.7 kilometers, four left and one right hand turns. The race distance will be 44 laps. The race. So it's the fourth out of five rounds of the 2019 Formula 2 Championship. Red light is off and here they go. 21 boats on the way. And El Kamsi didn't have a perfect start, but Tobias Muntekas did. The Norwegian first out of the first turn, Tobias Muntekas in the lead, but the race is stopped. And there is Stefan Hagen already out of the race. What happened? So it was Hagen flying over Ferdinand Sandbergen's boat at the first turn. Hagen starting from fourth, Sandbergen from sixth position. And Sandbergen is already moving to the inside. And in the turn, there is no more space for Hagen to go. This was quite a heavy impact. The result? The race over for Stefan Hagen right at the first turn and even worse. Hagen's boat heavily damaged and the German pilot lost his chance for a championship podium. The damage is too much. We have to completely change uh, the right sponsor. So, uh, yeah, it was, it's the end of the season for me. So, the boats were lining up for the restart and also Sandbergen could continue. But after the race, Sandbergen got a one-lap penalty for not keeping the lane at the start, what caused the accident. But now, everybody was ready for the restart. Lights are off again and the remaining 19 boats on the way and this time Akamzi with a better start but also Mintikas with a perfect start again, so both side by side. But this time it was Al Kamsi who was first out of the first turn. But again, a heavy crash in turn one. Yellow flag is out. This time it was Owen Jelf and Daniel Sagenmark who are out of the race. And also Johan Oesterberg out. What a drama right at the beginning of the Portuguese Grand Prix. So what happened this time? First having a look at Jelf and Sagenmark. Sagenmark starting third, Jelf seventh and it's Edgaras Ryabko getting in the way of Sagenmark, so he just missed Ryabko's boat and then it was Jelf who was just in the way with no chance for both to avoid the accident. So, from Ryabko's view back you can see how close this was and then Sagenmark losing control. Also this impact very heavy here, ending the race of Daniel Sagenmark and Owen Jelf. After the race it was Edgaras Ryabko who got a one lap penalty for not keeping the lane to the first turn and causing this accident. And there was another crash at the same turn when Rashid Al Tire as well moved to the inside and collided with Johan Oesterberg who barrel rolled. Also his race was over and also Al Tire got a one lap penalty for not keeping the lane. So. Back to the race, yellow still out, Rashid Al Kamsi in the lead, Tobias Mintika second and with Ryabko and Sandbergen already one lap back, it was Duarte Benevente on virtual third position. The restart and Al Kamsi stays in the lead, also Mintikas safe on second, but <laughs> Benevente pushing right from the beginning. 
The Portuguese pilot passed Edgaras Ryapko on the back straight. And then it was Mintikas in trouble. The Norwegian being passed by Sandbergen and now it was Benevente right behind Mintikas. Benevente on the outside, Mintikas on the inside and Mintikas stays in front through turn number two but Benevente now right behind him. Benevente still on the outside and Benevente pulls through on the outside. So now Benevente virtually second here at his home race in Portugal. And Mintikas with problems. Now also at Garas Ryabko passing the Norwegian. Half a lap later Mintikas pulls out of the race because of a damaged propeller. Meanwhile, Rashid Kamzi was in a comfortable lead. Would he finish first here in Portugal? Kamzi would be the new world champion of Formula 2. But there was a fight for position 6 and 7 which got pretty intense when Mette Bjergnes closed the gap to Rashid Tire, not knowing Atire was racing with a one lap penalty. So Bjergnes tried everything to pass the Abu Dhabi pilot. This battle lasted for several laps and Bjergnes coming closer and closer to making a move passing Altair. But then another accident and it was Altair who crashed with American Brent Dillard. Means the end of the Grand Prix for both. Now, only 12 boats remained in the race and Mette Bjergnes was now chasing victory pilot Ahmed Al-Fahim for 6th spot. And on the back straight Bjergnes with more top speed pulling ahead of Al-Fahim. So now Bjergnes on 6th position, her best result of the season. And also the victory team achieves their best season result with both Al-Fahim and Al-Mansouri in the points on position 7 and 9. But out front still Rashid Al-Kamzi, the Abu Dhabi pilot on his way to the finish line, checkered flag and Al-Kamzi wins the Grand Prix of Portugal. With his third victory in the current season and 75 points in his pocket, Al Kamzi is the new Formula 2 world champion. In the second start, I start very good. I entered the boys the first and they listen from the radio on yellow flag. It was another accident. Then they start one by one and I go, I never see back. On second position finished local hero Duarte Benevente, who also stepped up in the championship. With one race to go, Benevente is now second overall and more than happy. Because of the race today, I'm quite happy for me, for my team, for our sponsors. I'm once again very, very happy with the way that the season is, uh, is going and very proud of all our team. With Ferdinand Sandbergen and Edgaras Ryabko having a one lap penalty, it was Ola Pettersen coming third here in Portugal. The second podium in a row for the Swede who couldn't believe how everything was working out for him. It's fantastic, I mean, it, it's amazing. I was fifth in the year when coming in. I had two this DQ, so I thought it's perfect for me and I'm happy with all the problems I had. The two weekends we have racing, two podiums with my unlucky racing and everything, so I'm overlooked. Ola Pettersen also moved up to third in the championship and with only one more race to go, the Grand Prix of Abu Dhabi in December, the decision for second and third in the championship is even closer now with just four points difference between Benevente, Pettersen and Sandbergen. Wah, 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 wah.